Hello everyone, I am Stephen Ash, and today I will be reviewing how to create an assessment using Illuminate. Many teachers know how to assign an assessment to their students, but let's try to use it to create an assessment, even if it's just for review. And before we begin, the professionals at Illuminate themselves, they have created a document that has webinars and slideshows that show exactly how to access some of the features that you will commonly use in your classroom. So take a look at those at your leisure and it provides a lot of good visuals to help you understand. I'll put this in the description later. So first, log in to Illuminate from your portal. Use your regular login credentials, locate the Illuminate icon, click it, and we can begin. Once you log in, you will come to this dashboard screen. This is like the home page. And when you're creating your assessment, you can get there from several different areas. You can click create an assessment here, this tile box, or you can click in the margin assessments and choose create, wrong one, create assessment. So two ways to get there. In a separate video, I'll show you how to create a flexible assessment. And that is one where you may have a PDF, an electronic version on your drive or on your USB, and you would just upload it here. And when the students take that assessment, it will provide a lot of good data. So use flexible assessment when you already have something established. But today we want to go over the item bank, or in our case, the new item bank, where you get to select questions of your choice that fit that unit or standards that you're currently teaching. So we'll choose the new item bank. A text box will appear. Type in the title. Try to be as specific as possible. You might want to include the standard. And then click Create. Once you click create, this screen will appear, the bill screen, but we're going to move, before we move to the bill screen, click on description. You can add a description if you like, and you can also tag it to help you locate, locate it when you need it, because some of us will have many, many tests and we can tag it by filling out these options, assessment year, scope, subject, and grade level. We are now ready to build our assessment and pick our relevant questions. So click Browse. Once you click Browse, come to the left margin and choose Edit Standards. As you can see, I have some standards that I have already selected, but let me show you how I got there. So I'm going to click Edit Base Standards, Edit Base Standards. When you get to that, please choose your provider, the state and the standards. So I'm going to choose Georgia since I'm in Georgia, standards of excellence. Now, if it changes, you'll select a different one. Georgia standards of excellence. Uh, choose your subject. For practice purposes, I have selected social studies. And for grade level, select the grade level. And I chose sixth grade. Notice that the standards I selected are listed in the right hand corner. And you can always scroll down and look at what is being offered. So we're just going to choose these four standards for now and see what questions it has. Click done. Notice for these four standards, I have 43 results. 43 results. Before I start picking them, you can scroll to the bottom 
and you can even select the depth of knowledge, uh, the, le the level of questioning you want for your students. Uh oh. All right, now I'm going to scroll back up to the top and something I've learned I wanna show you. By default, it's on collapse view. Click this little square to put it on expanded view so you can see the full list of questions. Now I'm going to deselect these standards of questions so that I can focus on just a few questions at a time. So it went from 43 results to 11 results. It can get overwhelming when you see so many and it's a, I don't know, it might make you be a little anxious. But hey, now I got 11 questions and I can choose the best ones for my students. Notice it has the standard and the DOK level. So when you're ready, just click on add item. Uh, for this standard, I'm just gonna select two questions. Now I'm going to go to my second standard and I'm going to deselect the first one. And they have nine questions that are loading. All right, let me choose this. I'm going to choose, uh-oh. For practice purposes, I'm going to choose this item and this one. So follow these steps each time you are selecting a set of questions. And I'm going to put it back on all my standards now. And if you look in the bottom right corner under assessment summary, you click that arrow, it gives you some data on what you have selected thus far. So I selected two questions with the H1A and two questions with H1B. And we are going to pretend that we have selected questions from all four standards and we are ready to publish. So now I am on my build page. If you wanna rearrange the order of questions, just take this handle and drag it to another location to change the order. But if you're satisfied with it and you have it on full screen, you feel like this is a good test, before you preview it, you can just click done. I'm gonna click this arrow. You can save it as a draft if you think you're going to continue to edit it. But once you are done, just click on done and then publish. Now, if this was a pretest and you wanted to share it with your colleagues, you can just come up here to the little share button, the share icon, click it, and come down here to where it says share with. In your case, you'll choose user and type in the name of the teacher, maybe the last name of the teachers there, select them, give them access to administer or possibly edit, then click share. And they will have an access, they will have access to this same test as well, where you can compare data. Also be sure to save your changes. Again, when you are looking for your assessment, you can come over here to the dashboard. You can click assessments and go to view assessment. And if you're the one that created the assessment, if it's yours, you can just look right here in this table. Remember, I just, comp uh, I just created Illuminate Test Tutorial. But if somebody has shared with you a test, just click on Shared With Me and you'll have access to it also. So I hope you understand a little better how to create an assessment. I would advise you at the beginning of the unit to come to Illuminate and look at some of the questions for that standard that you are about to teach.